Hello, watching. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Hello, watching watchers. This is MZ Ronnie with an out of date update on my Better Than Wolves build. Little button here, open the door. Thank you, CNB Minecraft. Into my main build area, you see in that room up here. In my inventory, you can see that I have some netherrack and blocks of clay. And here, the switch. If you want clay pots, it's in the up position. Clay urns in the down position. You drop your clay in here, and it'll eventually be processed. And here is your return system. If the cart is ready to be returned, the light is on. If the hopper attached to that cart is full, this light will be on. If this light is on, it's a warning. Get your uh, stuff out of there and quick, because there's no more room. And over here, you can throw in your netherrack, and it'll be turned into soul urns. I'll quickly demonstrate. And let's demonstrate the cart. I don't think there's anything in it right now. Eventually, the system will push the cart from the processing units downstairs to right here. Oh, and I do have some planters in there. And the leftover clay. So I'll throw my clay block into here and quickly go look at the process. Through all four, this is my shortcut. This leads to my water wheels. This is all my circuitry here. Different timers for the clay and urns. Eventually, we'll see our clay blocks. Eventually. Eventually. Eventually, there it is. Blue, 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 blue. All right, and there you go. This is driven by lenses and light blocks and detector blocks. Ah, it's in the planter position. Oh, that's okay. No, it's not. I'll be back. Before I'll be back, I'll just throw this netherrack into the processing chute. Ah, you can hear the beautiful sound in the distance. There, it's getting processed, put in a chute, into the hopper, into a dispenser, which we'll get to in a bit. Quickly tell that the uh, system isn't working. That's because there isn't an urn present. And blocks. So as the uh, Clay turns, drops the extra balls off, falls into this first hopper, which is then shot off to the return cart. Into the hopper. And at the right timing, it throws away the, or pops off the, the urn, makes its way past into a different system. That system is obviously the kiln. It gets deposited into the kiln. And once it's done cooking, it pops off. Water is released, pushing it into the collection system. And because it is an urn, it fits into that filter goes down into the system. Such a horrible build. There you go. Falls through there, into the hopper. <laughs> Quick. It detects that there's something in there. It gets shot out. The detector sees something in front of it. Starts the rotation. Counts exactly eight. 
Well, it doesn't count. As long as there's an urn there, it throws stuff out. It uh, throws the uh, ground netherrack out to make a soul urn. After eight, the soul urn pops off, as you see there. The hellfire dust is collected and the urns are collected. I haven't re made a return shoot yet, but my soul urn process is automated. That's a quick update that I wanted to do, because I will be updating Bed and Wolves soon. Uh, I listen to the forums, I read the forums, and so there shouldn't be any, up, any problems. I just wanted to make sure that I had some video proof of all my non-so-beautiful handiwork before I update. there are any requests for me to spend more time on this mechanical monstrosity, I would be more than happy to. Please make a request, a uh, comment on my channel, and I'd be happy to do so. By the way, these timers here are invaluable. And I learned how to do these from Batasa. So if you have better than wolves needs get them met by Batosay.